question number 30 okay and the uh, engine provides a constant thrust force to move a vehicle at a constant velocity the engine has an efficiency see force and velocity is given so you can find out the power which is equal to force into velocity and there is also an efficiency here what is efficiency efficiency is output power by input power now which force is this which power is given here is it input or output that is what we need to know so towards it see once again read the question the engine provides a thrust force f so why should it provide a thrust force the reason is because some fuel is given to it so therefore there is an input which is because of the fuel and there is an output what is the output output is because of the engine's movement so the power that you can read you can write here is only because of the output power so i'll write this as p0 so from this expression what you can find you can find out p input is equal to fv divided by e first one we got but this is not sufficient let us read the question the engine has an efficiency e and consumes fuel with an energy density eta what is if energy density eta energy density eta is given by energy divided by volume right now which energy energy is input energy over here okay somewhere power input is there this is your input energy you need to connect all of them which expression gives the rate at which the volume of fuel is consumed consumed by the engine at rate at which rate at which one more quantity here rate at which what do you mean by rate rate means uh, something in the numerator divided by the time taken that's what you call as rate now what is there the numerator volume of fuel v should be in the numerator that's what we have now somewhere you have to link this equation this equation this equation all the three you need to link okay so if you link it that it's fine so how do we solve this so towards it now what we have we have input e input into e divided by v so i can now write this eta should be equal to uh, how is e input related to p input we have p input is equal to energy input divided by time taken so therefore energy input should be power into time taken power input into time taken divided by volume okay now uh, what i can do is i can now write this as power input divided by i'll push this time downwards v divided by t okay now you see this v by t is already here now what i will do is are i come to last page no okay so v by t so if i want v by t i'll take this as a subject v by t is equal to a input power divided by eta what is input power i'll substitute this which should be f into v divided by divided by e divided by eta which should be f f v divided by e eta f v divided by e eta f v by e eta is option e this is the right option.